Hello everyone, Santa Doc 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Nice 4, I think. Or better screenshots. The mod that simply adds in the ability for you to share screenshots a lot better online. And uh, yeah, so what it does immediately when you create a screenshot is it will pretty much give you a JPEG version, but also a PNG version. So I'll just demo that so you can see. So I just go F2, now do that, and it's fine. If we actually go to our screenshots folder, you can see with my other test one, as well as this one. So we've got a PNG here, and we've got a JPEG one here. So if you want to use either one, you can, um, compared to what Minecraft typically gives you of just the one file format. Um, so there's that. Uh, you got the ability to change the quality level your config, which we'll get to. Um, you can copy and paste your last screenshot with a key binding, which is Control C, which we'll take a look at. If you can change that. Uh, let's see, Control C under here. So there's that. And we'll just go Control C, I think. And it's copied to our clipboard now, so we can paste it if we want. Do not have any way to do that there, but if I wanted to. Um, let's see, can I, I can't paste it, I don't have anything else to do there, but if I want to put it in some of Discord or whatever we could. Um, let's see, automatic lossless optimization of the screenshots for small file sizes without losing the quality. Screenshots GUI as well, don't hesitate to do this. Um, right, so... Let's see, how do I get the viewer? Let's see, so we can go show JPEG, which is just immediately going to select it for us and show that in the photo viewer. So we've got both versions, and then we've got open screenshots folder, which we've already done. Um, now, can I just do, say, test with a mod for a screenshot? And that will already work, and then I'll probably keep it. So that's not too bad. Um, and uh, should we do it? Yeah, we'll do it just in case, just for a test. And we can tell how much it was, and that's not too bad. That's not too bad, I'd say. Yeah, so I don't know if you will or won't have the actual limitations of um, the actual, you know, importing it into Discord sort of thing. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, if you were to, you know, use the shortcut and you want to keybind, um, uh, use the keybinding for a PNG to place it into certain cases, um, then you know, certain situations, then you can for uploading stuff. Um, and we guess we've just got the configs. I don't think there's anything else I can really cover. Um, I don't know how to access the GUI, the screenshots, so that's the only thing, really, that is stopping me. Um, there is only the one keybind, so I don't know what I'm missing here. Um, I don't think there's any others, and it would have been to there anyways. Um, yeah. I don't think it's just because it's part of the one. Actually, it might be part of the one sixteen two version. That might be the case. And the reason why I'm using the one sixteen one version is because my one sixteen two is crashing. So, yeah. Okay, so the compression option to disable feedback, language options, other stuff, clean up of code, and what is the latest version, uh, the screenshot GUI, yeah, so that makes sense, but if you were to just witness it here, then you can, but I can't show it because my 1.16.2 instance keeps crashing, and I need to find out why with what mods I've got installed and such, so unfortunately I can't do that, but uh, yeah, so I assume there's maybe a key binding for it, or maybe you just use the command part here, so it's optimizing it, yeah, so maybe it's just a keybind, because they don't select anything in the chat, so, yeah, so you can view your screenshots like so, so that's cool, uh, but you won't get that in 1.16.1, only in this 1.16.2 version here, um, but otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye, actually I've got the configs before I end off, I keep forgetting that. Okay, so at least for 116.1, I can show that the JPEG compression level is considered um, the following and such. That's just all the extra description stuff. So you've got the compression level, which is between 0 and 1.0. It's 
0.9 by default, so if you want to change that you can. And uh, you get the ability to make JPEGs if you want. So if you probably only wanted to generate the PNGs, you don't care about the JPEGs at all, you can just change this to false and you should be fine. Um, I will check my... whoops, I forgot about that. Uh, 116 to instance, we'll go to, yeah, just go Minecraft folder, that'll be fine. Um, right, config, because I think it probably would have generated it still anyways, and it has, and we have a lot more options. So for 116.2, if you do get it running, unlike myself, um, which hasn't, you've got pretty much the exact same two options here. But you have two other elements for optimizing screenshots, so you can enable or disable this option. So it'll loosely optimize the PNG and JPEG ones for smaller sized progressive files that are identical quality. And enabling this will cause screenshots to take lightly longer to save, as it will be doing that process. In the rare case the screenshot is corrupted, run the following, I assume, in a command line? Yeah, I don't think that's in-game, it'd be in the command line or something, maybe. Either way, you can enable or disable the optimization of it, um, whether it shows the status of it or not. And then you've got another one for PNG-specific settings. So if optimized screenshots is enabled, use the following optimization level with... Like, maybe this is in-game, I don't know. Um, dollar file sizes, I would avoid anything above 3 unless you have a lot of CPU cores. So yeah, if you're able to do that, you can change the PNG optimization level. Um, so yeah. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.